Hello everyone, it's me is somebody welcoming you to my new logo design tutorial and today I'll show you this type of grid logo design which is dynamic logo with the A's and other stuff. So let's start the tutorial. If you're new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. Going to the file and taking new options and cmyk color mode if you want to go to the print and rgb for the web purpose and hit the create button after that going to the line segment tool press the shift and hold it draw 11 lines at a time and press the option or alter alter in a windows option for the mac for the copy to controller command d 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 Ctrl C, Ctrl F, rotate this one, 11. Okay, that's good. Ctrl G for the group or Command G for the Mac. Ctrl Shift G or Command Shift G. That's good. And going to the circle or ellipse tool and drawing the circle over here. It should be the middle of the box. So like this. Make it zoom and make this one properly align with the line. So here snap to point it should be on and the smart guide you should be on how to make it turn on here going to the view options here smart guide and snap to point okay view and snap to point should be turned on okay control or command Y for the outline mode and check out the circle is match with the line otherwise you ca can't cut the shape that's good Ctrl C, Ctrl F, make a bigger circle. Ctrl C, Ctrl F, C for the copy and F for the forward paste. Three, that's good. And now sh shift, press shift and hold it and make this one line like this. Yeah, that's good. It will be the middle of this. We're making the line over here. Copy the circle and should be here in the same position will make the same circle over here and another one will be here that's fine now we'll make a shape shape builders tool black color and drawing the shape all the stuffs Check about the left area, otherwise go to the magic wand tool, select once in a line, delete all the lines, that's good, we got our shape. Ctrl C and we downloaded a mockup, here is the PSD, I'll open it up in Photoshop and we'll mock it up with the logo. So here is smart object, we'll turn off the effect actually, so here Ctrl or command V pixels and select once over here and this effect we will apply so here copy the layer style and here paste the layer style you'll get the logo like this so our logo is ready and now going to here one by one square shape and crop it out and you can save it in your directory and you are getting your logo like this so hope that you learned a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any sort of questions query or request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video is i'm signing up today stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers bye bye